A white car makes the neighborhood uneasy. Police are called to investigate, and the events that unfold leave an officer with a broken foot. Hi, everyone, and good afternoon. I'm Frank Mellon. And I'm Michelle Griego. It happened around 7.30 this morning on Broadmoor Boulevard near Bancroft Avenue in San Leandro. KPIX 5's Ryan Takeo joins us live from the scene. Ryan? And the routine call turned dangerous in seconds. You can still see the cop cruiser that's here. The suspect allegedly used his car as a weapon, a stolen car, and hit the officer. And that suspect is still on the loose. You know, it was pretty shocking to have something like that happen um, right out in front of your street. One of Mitch's neighbors on Broadmoor Boulevard noticed a suspicious car with three men inside and called the cops. An officer ran the license plate and found out the car was reported stolen in Oakland. That officer arrested a passenger outside the car. But when another officer arrived as backup and got out of his cruiser, police say the suspect driver headed straight for the officer. The driver immediately accelerated the vehicle, struck the officer, knocking him to, to the ground, running him over, and then fleeing. The crash injured the officer's leg. He had to go to the hospital, but police say he's going to make it. As you can imagine, these events unfolded in a matter of seconds. Witnesses say the injured officer shot at least half a dozen times at the fleeing maxima. We know what kind of damage a car can do to someone, and today it landed a police officer in the hospital. Police are looking for a white Nissan Maxima. The license plate is 3NDA870. It likely has some uh, front, end, uh, front end damage and several bullet holes from when the officer opened fire. Live in San Leandro, Ryan Takeo, KPIX 5.